I felt like King Kong, you know, like that's how I felt. <laughs> Hi Kingdom, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos the second that they drop. Whoa, it's been a minute since I've said those words. <laughs> so obviously, if you can't already tell by the title of the video, I'm gonna be giving a story time on getting the C word and doing my skincare routine while I'm talking to you guys and filling y'all in on just some different things that's been going on in my life. So if you're interested in any of that, just continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all of my social media, TikTok, Instagram, at King Deshaun. And yeah, let's get into the video. I hope y'all like the new setup, by the way. I've been experimenting with the lighting and I have another video that I've been filming like day by day with this type of setup. So hopefully you guys like this because this ain't this ain't easy to do this ain't easy to do so first we're gonna go ahead and wet my face of course and then we're gonna go in with our cleanser okay so first we're gonna go in with oh this is the hard part because I really didn't plan out my products I usually don't when I do these type of videos I don't plan them out before I decide to do them so what am I in the mood for today it is kind of rainy right now so I do want to use something hydrating so I guess I'll go in with my peach slice of snail rescue purifying cleanser I'm almost out of this too by the way snail mucin is really good for like anti-aging that's why you typically see it in a lot of like Korean skincare because Korean skincare is like very heavy on anti-aging wrinkles it's kind of like a very sticky like cleanser and I don't know I really like it but let's stop beating around the bush because I know y'all are wanting the tea as you can probably tell by the title of this video already Yes, your boy had COVID. This was not something that I ever thought in a million years would happen to me, honestly. I've had probably about like three, four different COVID scares like during the whole pandemic. I lucked out each and every time. I feel like there was a point in time when someone said they had COVID and you was just with them. You were like, oh, oh, I, uh, I think I got it too. Uh, that was me, that was me. I. I'm low key of a hypochondriac, just low key, low key, low key. Cause I don't get sick like that. My immune system is really strong and I don't really be out here like that. I don't really be, I'm not like outside. Like there's people that are literally outside every day. That's not me. That's not me, it never was. This was definitely like top four scariest experiences of my life. I legit thought I was dying. Like actually, I, I, I thought I was out of here. I really did. I, <laughs> I was in the hospital for three days. I could not move my body. I was basically paralyzed from like the neck down for hours. So if you can remember the vlog that I posted, my weekend vlog, if you haven't seen that, I will plug it right here in the corner. In that vlog, I actually went to like a birthday thing. It was about 20 of us, my friend Desiree, Janae, you know, everybody. We went to the club and we had a section. That's where we got it. And the reason how I know that is because my friend and her husband, they both got COVID like when we were all together. That's when I realized like, oh, we all caught it at the same place. And there was a few other people in the group that were also sick, but nobody confirmed whether or not they also had COVID or not. That's on them. I don't know. So it wasn't just me, it was other people that I was around that also got it from that night. It's crazy to me how like I really be recording like my real life. I look back at that video and I'm like, damn, look at us having a good old time passing around COVID, look at us. Now mind you, that was on a Friday night. Saturday, I was completely fine. I was a little bit hungover, had a little bit of a headache, but you know, I took some medicine, went and did my errands, whatever, whatever. And then the following Sunday, that's when I got my tattoos. It's basically king in Japanese. That's what I got. So I got this and then I also got another tattoo on my arm. I don't know if you guys can tell from this far on camera, it's a little thin. Psalms 91 in red ink, so. I got two tattoos in red, my sister did them. And I was completely fine on that Sunday getting my tattoos. No symptoms, nothing. I was completely fine. The following day, on Monday, I woke up that morning, I remember I felt so sick and my body was just very heavy. My body felt very stiff, like I felt, I felt like King Kong, you know, like 
That's how I felt. As the day is going on, I start to feel sicker and sicker and sicker, like something's not right. I'm sitting in my office chair. I had to sit a certain way. Like I could barely sit in my chair because my body felt very stiff. Like it felt like it was turning into stone. And then it started to get harder and harder looking at the computer, like looking at the screen all day. My eyes just started to feel very heavy. Everything just started to feel heavy. Like gravity was just like pulling me down. As soon as I logged out of work, I was like, stumbling to my bed and I plopped down on my bed and laid down. And that's when I started to get even more stiff. I was in bed just like this, like I couldn't move. I called my stepmom, like I need somebody to come over right now and take me to the hospital. I was really nervous when I realized like, no, I need to go to, to the hospital. Like I need to go to the emergency room because <laughs> I just got kicked off of my parents' insurance. So. I don't have insurance right now. I would get sick when I don't have insurance because I never get sick. I never get sick. I never go to the hospital. Last time I was at the hospital, I was like 18. I have to go downstairs like where I live. That was the hardest thing ever. Like I felt like it took 2000 years for me to get down my stairs. Holding onto the railing, like I felt like I was going to tumble down the stairs. We get to the hospital, you know, they get the wheelchair and everything and it was taking forever for me to get assigned to a room. And it got to the point where I I had to prop my feet up on like one of the chairs. My legs felt so heavy, like I, I couldn't move my legs. I swear to God, my fingers were like throwing up gang signs. My fingers were stuck just like this while I'm in the wheelchair. It was the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, do I have Parkinson's? Like, do I, what is going on? And mind you, my fingers were also like turning a little bit blue at my, at like my nail beds. Side note, to penetrate the cleanser deeper into my skin, I'm gonna use my Foreo Luna 3. This is one of my favorite devices to deeply cleanse my skin and to exfoliate. It's silicone based, so it's not too rough on the skin and it's very sanitary as well. I really wanna get one of those Foreo micro current devices where you can like sculpt. I really want to get into skin sculpting. So maybe I'll reach out to them and hopefully they can send me one because I really, really want a microcurrent device so bad. Anyways, I swear for God, you guys, like I'm not joking. My fingers were legit like this. Like I was ET or some shit. Like what is happening to me? Do I, do I have diabetes? Like do I, <laughs> do I have diabetes? Do I have Parkinson's disease? Do I have, like, I'm diagnosing myself, like, in my head the entire time, like, because I don't get sick like that. Me and my stepmom started to realize that, like, people that were coming in after me were ahead of me, basically. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. My stepmom actually works for the hospital that I went to. So, hello, got the hookup with that. I get assigned to my room. It took them a long time to actually stick me with fluids. They put me in a CAT scan. So if you don't know what a CAT scan is, it's basically like this huge machine that's like a circle and they put you through it to see like what's going on inside of your body. So when it came time for my CAT scan, they had to put my arms above my head for me and lay me down like on this table. They stuck me with iodine. You know the little gel that they put on pregnant women's stomach when they get ultrasounds? That's basically what iodine is when you get a CAT scan so that they can see the insides of your body through the machine. When they put the iodine in your body and then they put you through the CAT scan machine, you start to feel very warm inside. Long story short, I threw up on myself. Nasty. Bombastic side eye. I threw up on my face because I couldn't move any part of my body. And I tried to like turn my head like to the side and I threw up like all on the side, uh, all on my left side. And it started to go down my neck. It got on my skims. Like it, mm, 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 mm. it was nasty. I've never thrown up on myself before. So of course I had to change out of my shirt. And that's when they put me into like an actual hospital gown. They put magnesium in like my fluid bag. When they did my blood work, they realized that my magnesium was really low. I actually have magnesium vitamins at my house. So I've been taking them ever since then. I think it helps with like your heart and your blood and, and everything like that. The lady comes in, gives me a COVID test. Those will never be fun. Sticking those things up your nose, those will never be fun. Now that I like scrubbed all that into my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then we're gonna go in with something else. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the Versed Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. This is like one of the manual slash chemical exfoliators that I like to use before I shave because 
I am looking a little wolf right now. I like this because it's not abrasive, so it's not gonna cause any micro tears on your skin. So one of the reasons why they kept me in the hospital was because my heart rate was sky high. It had no business being that high. Your normal heart rate is supposed to be anywhere between 60 to 100. 100 is basically like me jogging and exercising. My resting heart rate was 122, and I have a picture of it too. That's insane. Why is my resting heart rate as if I'm running the Boston Marathon? Like, what? Like, that's when I legit was like, yeah, something, something's not right with me. When your heart rate is that high, you're at risk for a lot of things, going into cardiac arrest, anything can happen when your heart rate is that high. So they gotta monitor it and make sure that you don't die. Now on the bright side, my oxygen levels were normal. Like my oxygen stayed at 100. A lot of people when COVID first broke out, it was affecting their lungs to the point where they couldn't breathe because their oxygen levels were down. So because my oxygen levels were normal, I was considered not high risk. That was a good thing, but they still wanted to keep me overnight and monitor me. I ended up being at the hospital for like three days and then my COVID test came back positive. COVID do all this? Like, mind you, I am vaccinated. When you get vaccinated, it does not prevent you from getting COVID. Like that's not what it does. It helps your body fight COVID better if you were to get it. I was one of the first people to get the Moderna vaccine when it first came out because at the time I worked at a medical facility. I think I even vlogged that too. That was like one of my first vlogs <laughs> that I did when I got vaccinated. I remember that day very clearly actually. The lady that was like doing my paperwork was like really rude she was so nasty oh my gosh my temperature was like a 99.4 so I technically had a fever I can't remember everything that they gave me but I know they gave me something for nausea eventually they found like a medication combo that worked for me they gave me Norco a combination of Tylenol and hydro hydrocortone so that was to help with the pain and to help with inflammation that medicine actually helped break my fever because the very next day my fever went up to like 101.9 my headache did not want to go away and I also didn't have an appetite like I wasn't eating So now that we've rubbed all this into my skin I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and I'm gonna get my shaving stuff and shave Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the Goodfellow shave cream This is my favorite shaving cream hands down very good for sensitive skin It, it kind of feels like you don't even have anything on your skin when you put it on There's no harsh ingredients like there's no alcohol or anything like that my chin area I probably shave like maybe once a week. I don't know, I go back and forth between like grooming it, like keeping some facial hair and just like shaving all of it off. But I realized lately like the hair on my face is starting to grow really fast. I don't know, maybe if it's because of the change in my diet, like if I'm eating healthier <laughs> or if that's just coming with like age and maturity, I don't know. I never remember my hair growing this fast. I'm gonna use this razor from Harry's. Harry's is like my favorite brand for razors. I do shave against the grain. I don't have any like issues with that. Low key, I have a pimple like right here. I'm gonna use something for that later. I need a haircut bad. I need to schedule one right away. But because I've been sick, I haven't had a chance to do anything. Overall, during my hospital stay, the staff was really nice. All the nurses were nice. Even the people bringing me food were nice. Everyone was very professional. There was a lot of black people, a lot of black nurses. They had this iPad that they give all the patients where you can keep track of all of your medicine that they're giving you and you can read up on the names and it gives you information on side effects. And you can also like request for your nurse and everything on the iPad. And you can even watch Netflix and Hulu and all the stuff like on your iPad. Like it was, it was a luxurious hospital stay I'm not gonna lie I, I don't want to go back but if I had to go back I would choose that hospital because they they treated me very well so as a post shaving treatment I like to use my good molecules glycolic exfoliating cleanser or toner excuse me this is no joke it's really good for lightening up any dark spots and scarring that you may have this really helps prevent any ingrown hairs you can use it in the daytime and nighttime preferably I like to use it at night or if I know for a fact I'm not going outside glycolic 
while it can make your skin kind of sensitive. So if you are using this during the day, make sure you're using SPF. And after I apply this on the cotton round, I'm going to focus this really on everywhere on my skin, basically, especially everywhere that I just shaved. I like to focus this toner underneath my jaw because that's typically like the dirtiest part of my skin where a lot of like dirt and oil gets trapped underneath here. Eventually by the third day, that's when I realized like I was completely better. My temperature went down to like 98.4 or 98.3 and my heart rate went down to like a 80 something, that's when they realized, okay, like, okay, you're starting to get better. They also prescribed me Democron, I believe was the name of the steroid that they gave me. The doctor told me that steroids is like the main way that they treat COVID because it helps with like the body aches and it helps with your appetite too. When they put me on them steroids, I was eating. The hospital food was nasty. So eventually I did like Uber Eats. I was eating junk basically because they weren't restricting me on certain foods. They're like, oh no, you can eat whatever you want. So I literally like Uber eats Sour Patch Kids and Poppy. They're like, no, it's not a problem. Like our patients do it all the time because the hospital food's nasty. They released me on the third day. I want to say it was around like two o'clock. I feel a lot better now. At first I was very just kind of like down on myself because this affects my content too. Like I can't get up and film a video if I'm sick, if I'm not feeling 100%, which is annoying because I always have like plans on certain videos that I wanna post, like posting twice a week. I couldn't even film like my reels or TikToks. I did film a TikTok in the hospital though, I'll put it right here. she's showing her panty. She's shaking like jelly. Honey bands is Chanel, but I'm still shaking. I'm like the most unserious person like when I'm supposed to be serious. Jokey jokes are a way that I get past hard times in my life and trauma. At the end of the day, this is a once in a lifetime experience. I'm gonna get my content. One thing about it, I always got my influencer mind turned on. Don't you ever think for a second like I was not thinking about y'all because I was. I gotta monetize this somehow. Speaking of monetize, my hospital bill was actually cheap as f Apparently they have like different applications and stuff that you can fill out based on your income. It was like $100 for like a three day stay with no insurance. Like what? That was definitely God for sure. Because I'm like, yo, they better not charge me like 1200 bands for no three day stay. Like this is not the Waldorf. This is not, this ain't the one hotel. Like this is not. Very grateful about that because I was really concerned. I was like, yo, how much is Bill gonna be? I've been trying this new essence from Bow Laboratory. If you guys haven't heard about this brand, they're Canadian based. I've worked with them, done sponsorships with them. I've been trying this product out because they want to do a sponsorship. This is not sponsored by the way. It also enhances any products that you put on top of it. And it's also a way to kind of just like hydrate your skin and prep for additional products. I'm gonna put this on everywhere. Actually, I put this on my neck. I'm very heavy handed when it comes to like serums and essences. And no, this actually does not make your skin feel oily. There's no oils in this. My skin already feels like butter. Um, <laughs> what are we gonna use after this? I'll use this hyaluronic acid serum from Good Molecules. I'm actually almost out. So I'm just use a little bit of that. But yeah, that was pretty much my whole COVID experience. I have an appointment on Tuesday just to follow up on everything, just to make sure like I'm good. Do not want to experience that ever again. My doctor also said like, it's just one of those things that eventually everyone's going to get, which is kind of scary because that was not just no average experience. Ever since I've been quarantined, I've just been really focusing on just like my mental health. A lot of things in my life have been changing. I have readjusted my boundaries again. I'm always transitioning in my life. I don't know if that's like a Virgo thing too. I feel like every other week I'm going through like a spiritual transformation. I've just been feeling very lifted and very positive. I struggle with imposter syndrome really bad. I don't know why, but I get to points in my life where I start to convince myself you're not why even bother trying? This is stuff that I tell myself in my head like without really meaning to. It's just, it's a subconscious thing. I don't know if it's because I'm constantly like trying to achieve things. Like every day, my mind is constantly thinking about like character development, different things that I should be doing to get ahead in life in all aspects, financially, spiritually, career-wise, like everything. I'm always thinking ahead and it's kind of bad. It's to the point where sometimes it's really hard to like live in the moment, be appreciative of good things that actually happened to me. When I accomplished something, I've really like dumb it down. Okay, cool. Like, yeah, I did that. Great. 
all right, what's next? And that's not a way to live. Like I need to learn how to celebrate things and enjoy things without feeling like it's affecting my ego in any type of way. Like I never want to come off like egotistical or narcissistic. I never want to come off like I'm not humble. So I kind of like constantly all the time, like tell myself like, it's not a big deal, not a big deal, it's not a big deal. But sometimes it is a big deal. And sometimes I need to be grateful for myself and celebrate things. I don't know, lately I've just been doing a better job of telling myself like positive affirmations. I'm using my pharmacy daily greens gel moisturizer. This is like really good stuff. This is probably like the best daytime moisturizer that I've ever used. I did like a little bit of like an unfollowing spree on like all of my social media not too long ago. I also deleted Snapchat. I mean, I don't know who'll be using Snapchat still, but like I would have it just to kind of like mm, keep in touch with certain people. It was also a way for me to communicate with people without them having my number. Most of those people, I should not allow them to have access to my life anyways. But yeah, long story short, I made the decision to delete my Snapchat. I also deleted, there was a couple like social media apps that I deleted that I don't use anymore too. So I definitely like cleaned through my phone. I deleted a lot of things in my camera roll. I deleted screenshots of like, <laughs> I deleted screenshots of conversations that I'm like, why am I still holding on to this? Like, I need to move on. Because I feel like God doesn't bless me if I still have access to certain things. You gotta close doors in order for new doors to open. Your phone, it, it's crazy. There's so much spiritual energy in just your phone. This is something that you have in your hand for the majority of your day. Your phone is always around you. Your phone is honestly kind of like, a part of your aura in a way. I'm using my Good Molecules SPF 30. It's like in an orange tube. They sent this to me. This is actually really good. It has like a little bit of like a yellow tint to it, but it goes on clear and it's really good for all skin types. It does go on invisible. This does not leave a white cast. It's really important also to use SPF on your tattoos. It helps the health of your tattoo not fade. It just helps like the longevity of your color. I also put SPF on like all of my neck tattoos. Ooh, last thing I need to put on some sort of lip balm. I have an idea what I wanna use. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna use this Melon and Goets. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think this was one of the things Kyra sent me. Kyra had sent me a bunch of like her skincare PR and stuff as like a present one time. And this was one of the things I think she gave me. And I just started using it recently. It's really good. That concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I really just wanted to touch base with you guys. I wanna do more of these skincare talk through, get ready with me videos. I'm gonna bring these kind of videos to TikTok as well. I found a way where I can do them where it's kind of like entertaining for me too. So be on the lookout for that if you don't already follow me on TikTok and Instagram at King Deshawn. I don't know if you aren't already following me on there, you should be. That's where I am if I'm not posting on YouTube. If you really care about me, if you really wanna keep up with my day to day, if you want to binge watch any more of my videos, go ahead and click that playlist above in the upper right corner that says more from Deshawn. Especially if you're new, I'm working on an everyday skincare routine that's gonna be kind of like this little setup using different skincare products like throughout the week just so you guys can give like a full idea of the different products that I use every single day. So be on the lookout for that. I'm almost done with that. I'm really excited for that to come out. I have a good molecule skincare review in the vault that's just been sitting there. Um, so I'm gonna be posting that as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.